I recently picked up this from a local Goodwill, and I'm pretty sure it's a computer. Which is why today, we're gonna install the Haiku operating system on it. It's a mystery box with an ethernet port, so stay tuned. And if you enjoy computing on the wild side, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. If you're not familiar with the Haiku operating system, you must be new here. Welcome, you've got mail. Haiku is everyone's favorite underdog operating system, descended from the venerable BOS of the 90s. I've been obsessed with it for years, and we've done quite a lot of videos here installing it on random machines. So when I found this weird computer-esque thing languishing on a shelf at the back of a Goodwill, I thought, hey, Haiku. Now you might be thinking, but Sean, if you're not sure what this thing is, how are you sure you can run Haiku on it? Well, that's the beauty of YouTube. If it doesn't work at all, you'll never see this video, which I guess is also kind of a spoiler. Damn it. Anyway, let's plug this thing in and see what it is. Now, I'm not a total doofus. I do know that this is probably definitely a computer of some sort, probably something that would run signage or point of sale. And for some reason, someone has been quite rough on the Wi-Fi antenna. But check it out, we have VGA, DVI, and HDMI. I don't know what this port does. And I assume this just takes 12 volt power. So let me scrounge up a power adapter and we're just gonna plug this thing in and see what happens. All right, I've got my universal power supply set to 12 volts. Ah, neat. All right, well, I don't know what digital engine is, but apparently this one doesn't have a hard drive. And holding down delete got me into American Megatrends BIOS, which shows that we actually have a Core 2 Duo T7300 at two gigahertz. Nice, and four gigs of RAM. This should run Haiku great. See, I knew this thing was a computer. Okay, now that we know that this is indeed a computer, I have a silly idea of what we can use this thing for. You see, Haiku technically supports webcams, but it's very limited. In fact, there's only a few supported webcams and they're all very old. And I have one of them, USB 1.1 with a gigantic 352 by 288 resolution. And I think this would be perfect to set up an old school 90s style webcam feed on my website, frogfind.com. But I'm incredibly lazy. So I went to my go-to for speeding up projects. The sponsor of today's video, Fiverr. Fiverr connects you with freelancers who offer a wide range of digital services, like graphic design, editing, web development, pretty much anything. Previously, we found a freelancer to build us a rather beautiful one-bit pixel art of a mutant squirrel for my Mac OS 7 game. Well, today I'm one-upping that record and asking a professional web developer to build me a page that's HTML 1.1 compliant, and most importantly, it has to fit in the viewport suitable for a black and white compact Macintosh. I decided to go with Matthew Bevins, who despite having a ton of experience with modern responsive web design, said the retro constraints of this project would be an interesting challenge. I sent him a reference doc on HTML 1.1 and a quick and dirty PNG mockup of the page. And he turned it around fast. We'll see the final product in a little while once we get this thing online. But Fiverr is an excellent place to find high quality, well-reviewed freelancers who can really accelerate growth. You can view each freelancer's portfolio and user reviews, and Fiverr even offers freelancer consultation where you can connect to Fiverr freelancers one-on-one, -on -one, gain insights, interview talent. So check out my link down in the description below, fvrr.co slash actionretro, and use my promo code actionretro10 for 10% off. Thank you so much, Matthew, for the quick turnaround, and thank you, Fiverr, for once again sponsoring my weird shenanigans. All right, let's dig into this thing and see about that hard drive situation. And of course I could do the smart thing and look up how to take this thing apart, but instead I'm just gonna remove screws until it falls apart. There is a hard drive in there. Ah yes, wonderful use of hot glue. And we'll give this a nice reasonable Kingston SSD with 240 whole gigabytes of space. I wonder what's hiding under the other side. 
Well, I'm glad I opened this side up because the CPU has this big copper heatsink that is attached via a thermal pad to the heatsink of the outer case, and that has become gross over time. We have two laptop style DDR2 two gigabyte sticks of memory. We also have a spot for an M.2 SSD. Neat. All right, I've made a fresh Haiku install USB. Hey, look at that. All right, let's see if we can get a fresh install on here. Oh yeah, there is our 223 gigabyte SSD. Let's create a Haiku partition with the B file system. Format that to the B file system. All right, are you ready for the fastest modern operating system install ever? I'm not even gonna speed this up. We're gonna do it real time. Look at it go. It's installing an entire modern operating system on this thing, real time. Look how freaking fast that is. That is wild. This thing installs faster than Windows 11 even boots up. And done. Remove our USB. Oh yeah, this is now a Haiku computer. Look at that. All right, we're connected to ethernet and I just checked Wi-Fi even works on this thing. Let's open up Web Positive, the default Haiku web browser and just double check that. Frogfind.com. Oh yeah, we are on the internet. So webcam drivers are kind of infamously low on the list of priorities for the Haiku developers. So pretty much no modern webcam will work on Haiku. However, there are some very old webcams which will work, including this ice cam, which I bought for this exact purpose. Oh uh, yeah, the light turned on, that's a good sign. Let's open Kodi Cam, the Haiku webcam viewer. Cannot find a video source. All right, let's restart this with the webcam plugged in. We'll see if that works. Oh yeah, look at that. There it is. Look, it's my camera. Oh no, it crashed. Oh, this is not boding well. All right, well, I guess the good news is the camera works. The bad news is it only works for about a half a second. Wow, this thing is getting quite uncomfortably warm. I do have this goofy little USB fan I can use. All right, I have downloaded the HTML file that I had built on Fiverr. It is exceedingly simple, which is exactly what I asked for. We have 320 by 240 for the image size. So let's upload this with FileZilla. Oh yeah, FileZilla is on Haiku. Oh yeah, there's our Frog Cam live page. Just of course without an image yet because we need to figure out a way to serve the images. And I kind of don't want to sit this thing out getting extremely hot with this janky fan sticking out the front of it. So I think I'm actually not going to use this as the running all the time server and instead go to plan B. I have pre-configured this Raspberry Pi Zero W with my Wi-Fi credentials and I have this handy USB to micro USB adapter. That is a much more reasonable setup. All right, the Pi is online. Let's SSH into it and configure it. And jump cut to I have written a bash script. What this script does is every few seconds it takes an image from the webcam and then it curls that image over SFTP to frogfind.com and repeats that a couple times because I'm gonna put this into a one minute running cron job, which we can see right here. All right, let's run this manually just to make sure it works. I'll give this something nice to take a picture of, like the hamster mouse, camera.sh. The light blinked on the camera and it looks like it uploaded. Oh my goodness, look at that. I do believe we have ourselves a frog cam. And that picture quality out of this ancient webcam is just the perfect aesthetic for this kind of thing. And this page will automatically refresh itself every 30 seconds, at which point there should be a new image because it's taking a new image like every 
15 seconds. Yeah, look, it just updated. I have the camera pointed at my back wall here. It works. Now I just need to find something worth live streaming on the internet. Oh yeah, check this out. I've encased the frog cam server in this lovely laser cut wood case that's very on brand. And now all I have to do is find somewhere to set this bad boy up. So that is fun with Haiku on a weird garbage computer that I found at Goodwill. And it goes to show you that you can have a lot of fun with the most unassuming of e-waste. And Haiku, despite being rough around the edges, is also a ton of fun to play around with and is actually more mature than you might expect. And while it's a shame that I couldn't use this goofball thing as the actual webcam server for Frogcam, I think I made the right choice by going with a Raspberry Pi. And also, I made the executive decision to forego this extremely terrible webcam, and I put a better webcam up there so you can better see Geico. So check out frogfind.com slash frogcam and see what Geico is up to today. But that'll do it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more weird stuff like this, please subscribe down below. And thank you very much for watching. Thanks again, Fiverr, for sponsoring today's video. And thank you again, Matthew, for accommodating my super weird request and building Frog Cam. Check out fvrr.co slash action retro and use my promo code action retro 10 for 10% off. And I just want to give a very special thank you to all of my Patreon supporters and channel members. Thank you so much, each and every one of you, for supporting me and supporting this channel and all the weird stuff I do. I am so very grateful and I just could not do this without you.